god. Alright guys, so Alpha Leaves are 100% possible. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So, uh, yeah, let's place down our chests. We're going to put them all. And let's go ahead and get some leaves to do this with. So, I'm just going to run. I think I should have a clear shot. Yeah. There we go. Oak tree here. Okay. Let me collect everything. There we go. So we need a little bit more birch. We're going to get nine of each. So seven, eight, nine. There we go. So this is basically the... Uh, yeah, if we press... I think, I think we can do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so let's do this in order. So we have oak, spruce... Uh, birch and jungle so that's that okay and so the first uh type of alpha leaf is the four plus whatever their data value is so um basically all we got to do is place them like so and then we take a silk touch pickaxe whoops and break it and as you can see four five six seven so and they're all named oak leaves here we go. Um, let me place this back down. So the next type here is uh, basically if we come to a tree, we break one, boom, and then we get a silk touch. Look at that. So there we go. Um, and then if we go ahead and... take one over here break that and then we take our soul touch and do that we should have another one so nine okay do that over here with the birch there we go there's the birch one and then once again with the oak and there we go so then we have zero four eight so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and there's one more method that we can do this. So the first one here is uh, this. So we can take uh, two. We just place down two of every single type of leaf. Okay, and then we take our fist and we break one of each. And then we. Oh, I did the I did the wrong one. Whoops. Okay, so we gotta do this again. One. So two, 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 two. And then we take this, we break one, so touch the next one. And as you can see, we get another data value. Like so, and then break one, so touch this one. Break one, so touch. There, and there. 14, 15, er. So let's see, we gotta do this. There you go, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yeah, we have basically alpha leaves now. Uh, so if we put this in our chest, we have, uh, let's, let's see, we have the regular oak, then we have the spruce, And there we go, guys. We have successfully made a some alpha leaves. So I'm going to see if I can make some more of these, and I'll be right back. And back in 1.7, guys, we have... Yeah, this is kind of the leftover materials. I did a lot of jungle by accident. Um, anyways, but then we have a chest full of each uh, alpha leaf. Uh, and yeah, I, it's, it's night time. I shouldn't be recording right now, but... Yeah, basically, um, we have 7, 8, 11, and 15 for all the different jungle. 6, 10, 14, uh, 5, 9, 13, and 4, 8, 12. So those are all the different uh, alpha leaves pretty much made. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited, basically. This was kind of cool. Unfortunately, they're not like this crazy texture yet, but they will be. Uh, so yeah, we have a bunch of extra stuff, some extra chests, and I'm in 1.7 now, that's why we have the Christmas chests, 
uh, because I'm recording this clip as of December 24th. So, yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next part in today's episode. I hope you guys thought that intro was kind of cool. Um, yeah, thank you to the person who brought that up in the comment section of another video. I'm really happy that you did because now I have them in this world. Um, yay. Okay. Um, there will be a link to the video that I used and that per what that person linked in the comment section in this video as well if you guys want to do it yourself. Um, but guys, I'm going to leave those over there. I don't really think we need to move them. Um, but yeah, in today's episode, it is episode, I believe, um, I can't even, I don't even know what episode it is. I think it's episode five. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, in today's episode, guys, we are going to be, uh, working once again, uh, with um, with 1.7.4 but this time not with villagers we're gonna be doing some data value changing so yeah it was a good intro to what we're gonna be doing today um, or in this episode these episodes usually take me two to three days to make just so you guys know um, so yeah let's go in here in our Christmas themed area here and I'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of research gather some materials see if I need to get some more stuff um, I do have the silk touch pick now um, which is nice and useful but guys uh, yeah we have a bunch of emeralds to trade and yeah um, in the meantime I'm gonna show a clip of me seeing if we can get the end portal into the nether uh, if we can get an end portal in the directly in the nether that could be really cool and really useful so stay tuned for that so guys is it possible to make an end portal portal in the nether so i was thinking you know we might as well just make one right over here um since we have a nice place to dig into that's already almost dug out pretty much um so let's go ahead and boom boom and you know what i'm gonna go ahead and say that there's like a little stairway down here into a room that we can make right here so let's go ahead and let's put this guy together so to build this you need to have them all facing the correct direction uh, I know that, and yeah, let's see, uh, will it actually light? Ah, nope, okay, so you cannot, myth busted, done, uh, that would have been really cool, but it looks like we're not going to be able to do that, so, um, yeah, we can't even mine this, so that's going to be there forever, <laughs> um, which is fine, which is totally fine, so let's get some netherrack here. Uh, and let me build a little staircase up to here and let's go um, and work on the uh, item ID changer all right guys so I've done a little bit of testing here and yeah we can actually use this we just going have to uh, do it somewhat carefully so let's grab these arrows here um, there we go, and let's put a few of them in here. We're gonna need a good amount. So let's see, we need, uh, it should be around uh, eight, I believe, arrows. One, eight, okay, and then we can place this here. And this should, uh, and I do repeat myself, should get us some, some cool stuff, so, nope. Okay, so nothing there. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's, let's try that. Okay, it's not working quite how I thought it would. Yeah, so we need to get some oak. There we go. So yeah, you can get all the wooden slabs. Wooden slabs. See, we basically just converted stone slabs into wooden slabs, and these ones don't burn because they basically count as a stone slab. Uh, so that's a cool thing to do. So if we ever wanted to get more of those, we can do that. 
what else is there that we can do uh, besides the oak log, which isn't that big of a deal to me quite yet? Um, yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of random stuff we can do. Uh, so, yeah, I guess might as well go get that oak log. But yeah, I just wanted to do this, and then and then I can talk about the update suppression stuff. So, yeah, first off, we got to get this out of here. Uh, and this, uh, we want to put in 12 arrows, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and then we can put this right here. And then, yeah, basically all we have to do is stand on here and place the golden pressure plate again. And there we go. So I think we might be able to mine it. Uh, we cannot, we, we have to push it with the piston. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me get just a bunch of filler blocks, maybe. Here, we'll do, we'll do this. So. And oh, almost perfect. Uh, let's do. Let's see if we can change the stone. I don't know what this would change to, but. Um, okay, so here, and let's see. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll have to make some sort. We'll have to move it with pistons here. Uh, there we go. One more. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's good enough for now. Uh, glass doesn't have a data value. You can only do stained glass. But let's try. Let's do this. So. Bo oh, nope, 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 nope. There we go. And let's see. Can we get a power source of some some type? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get it up some somewhat far let's see uh, that's pretty good I'd say and if we just go ahead and get rid of this we should be good to go yeah okay so that is our floating six-sided log block pretty cool uh, the rest of these we can remove. Um, yeah, nothing too special really. Uh, do that. Those uh, put half in there and half in here. There we go. And yeah, so that's our data value changer. Uh, a cool little concept, but now is time when we make something really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the area that we're going to be doing this trick in. And then I'm going to go ahead and while I'm doing that, I'm going to explain um, what we're going to be doing in a creative world. And yeah, guys, I really hope that this will work out. So yeah, we're going to have to follow this room out much more. So what exactly is update suppression, guys? Um, that's what I'm hopefully going to explain right now. So yeah, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's basically um, suppressing updates. And so first we gotta understand what an update is. So let's quickly, I'm gonna come down here and let's go ahead and place a lamp. And an update is when this lamp turns on. It changes from a off lamp to an on lamp. That is a block update. That's basically the simplest way I can say what a block update is. Now, block updates can be created by pistons, and even just this lever itself is changing states. Um, there's a lot of things that can create updates. Uh, water flowing creates updates. So if I were to remove this water and uh, say I were to create a piston and I was going to bud the piston. So 
thinks it's powered, but it's not. And if we update it, it retracts, right? So update suppression is saying when you update a block. So when I actually update this, instead of retracting, it would just stay extended because it doesn't calculate that um, that update because of some sort of mechanic that we're exploiting that takes up the entirety of updates in the game. So that's basically what we're doing um, in the game. And I'm gonna explain more over there in survival. Okay guys, so I'm over here on an internal server that I've hosted on my own computer. So my computer's actually uh, pretty stressed out right now. And yeah, you can see all these pistons or what they look like pistons, but actually, if we go behind here, what? Um, they're six-sided pistons. So we're using the same data value changing uh, that we that I just showed in survival previously, but we're using them because since they're pistons, they want to extend. But when they're on all sides, what would they extend from, right? So uh, what happens is it will crash the server or basically disconnect me. So in order to do this, if you guys are copying this, I will have a link to a video that shows you how to set up a server. Uh, and then I will also, uh, if you're gonna do this, make sure that you're opt, because if you're not, I, I opt myself here. If you're not opt, uh, you will um, crash the server, server every time, whereas when you're opt, it'll happen a lot less. So uh, I decided I'm gonna do one with you. We gotta get one more. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. So first things first, we got to do the same sort of thing with the arrows because um, basically entities collide. So if we do this, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you may be wondering why six arrows? Well, pistons, uh, they don't normally have their own data value, but they have direction values. And so there's uh, basically their default direction, which is up, and then all the other directions, which is uh, five other directions. But if you add six, they they, they do all of them. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, basically the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put our arrow here. Then we gotta extend this guy. There we go. We gotta place our piston facing downwards like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and come over here and we're gonna replace this dirt block with the golden pressure plate. And there we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that, basically, in all of its glory. Let's pick up our arrows. Sometimes they disappear, sometimes they don't. Looks like that time they did. And so then we have this piston to move it, so we can go ahead and do that. Looks like we need two more. Yeah, two more. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so now we can come down here and power this piston. There we go. And then we can place this here. Push that guy in. And there we go. That is awesome. So, uh, yeah, now it's time that we actually power these, which is going to create the update suppression magic that we really want to take advantage of. So, uh, before we do that, I'm going to light the portal. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, I had to move the thing over here, um, but actually, I kind of like it better there, honestly. Uh, I, th I think it, because our entrance is gonna be here, we're gonna definitely widen this out. We're just gonna come in and that's gonna be there. And we're gonna have another section over here, probably the storage over that way. And then there's like a pathway behind it. I think it's a really cool thing. Um, Anyways, I want to show you guys the process of what I'm doing. So these redstone blocks are powering these, which uh, what happens when I power this is this. <laughs> and we go back to join the server. And as you notice, we didn't use a single block of redstone. So 40, do that. And we st should still have 40. Yeah, right there. There we go. And here's our last one to do. And there we go. So now, if we go around to this side, uh, I've already done one just to test it, but if we press here, it won't use the water, as you can tell. We can put, place that. 
And yeah, we can start making shapes in this nether portal. I think that is really cool. So there we go. And yeah, we can continue doing this uh, a lot. And yeah, basically we don't use any of the blocks that we are using, which is quite interesting, but yeah, um, <laughs> I think it's a really cool thing because we can make a creeper face, <laughs> um, which is gonna be awesome. So yeah, uh, if you're gonna do this yourself, I there's a lot of things I'd recommend. I might make a separate video detailing this. I, I might do a little bit of a collaboration if you guys want to see a bit more in detail of how this works, because uh, I don't fully understand it right now, but I'm uh, intent on f figuring that out, because um, it's so weird, like doing that, you know, and then it's just gone, and you can place a block there, and um, it, it's just so cool, and it's like awesome. Uh, unfortunately, a uh, breaking blocks also does that. Um, didn't know it did that either, but I'm not gonna complain. Here we go, and yeah, we can do water there. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you guys afterwards. Okay, so those of you uh, really paying attention can probably notice that the scenery here is a little different. Um, yeah, so uh, quickly, let me explain. I basically had built the entire uh, thing right there and then the server crashed um, and I couldn't, and the save itself was crashing endlessly. So I had to load the backup that I made way earlier and restart. And so I just restarted and that's why it looks a bit different because you know, I can't really copy what was already there. Uh, that's why that wall is like completely cobble. That's just there. Anyways, all of that to say, I finished the creep face. Oh yeah, this thing looks awesome. It links up, I've tested it. I took down the other portal over there. Um, we're going to, of course, work on the aesthetics of this cave because, oh my god, ugh, it is so bad right now. <laughs> um, of course, we're going to remove all this dirt and gravel, or replace the dirt with grass, rather. Um, and, yeah, guys, so the entrance is right here. We're going to actually widen this out and bring it basically so it's this direct entrance here. And this is going to be the main area with that kind of to the side, I feel like would be really cool. Unfortunately, we can't have it there. That would have been the best place for it, but uh, it's going to be where it is. Um, and yeah, our villagers are hopefully okay after all of that time on the server. But yeah, we're back in uh, single player. And yeah, guys, that is going to be my note to sign off today. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I sure did. I loved today's episode, honestly. It was so fun uh, doing all the block data changing. This is what I started this series for because I just love this part of Minecraft. Um, anyways, and update suppression was really fun. Um, like I said, if you guys are interested in like a separate video on update suppression, I'll do some research, get myself a bit more well versed on update suppression, and I will figure it out for you guys. But for the time being, uh, I'm gonna have to say bye bye because I gotta edit this and you know, I just, you know, it's just been a long episode. I'm almost out of time. So I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.